Did you even try? Yeah, I did try. I had to sit there where she was banging on about STIs and all sorts. Yeah, well, I would have done the same thing for you too, Vicky. Only I would have done it properly. How could have, Jess? She wanted me to take them right then and there. Well, you could have made up an excuse or something, or you could have pretended to take them. But no, you just caved easily. Do you know what? I don't believe you. You should be grateful. I mean, you got yourself into this mess. Well, excuse me, but who do you think you are to judge me? I'm not the one dancing around a pole in my knickers. You know, but I only did that because I needed the money. Yeah, well, we both know what that makes you then, don't we? You've got a nerve, Jess. Show what? You're on your own. Fine! No. Oh. Actually, except you're not on your own, though, are you? What, as if you slept with uh, 14 blokes recently and you've got the nerve to call me? Hey! Hey, hey what's going on? Hey. What's going on? What do you care, eh? You can't go around hitting people, Jess. Oh, yes, you can. Because she thinks she can do everything. Stupid cow. Shut your mouth, Vicky! Right? Because it's true. You go out clubbing every night, bringing random blokes home, and you expect me to cover for you. I said, shut your mouth. All right, now that is enough. You know what? You're just jealous of me. Jealous of what? You're a skank. Mr. Meat. Chris. It's not like how she's making her. If you and Vicky have got a personal problem, then that's your issue. But if I catch you hitting anyone again, I'll make sure you're excluded.